Tom Lloyd with Blue and Gold Illustrated here with a uh, five-star defensive end, Byron Cowart out of Florida. Byron, uh, talk about the experience being out here at the opening among, with, with the best of the best. Uh, it's, it's great, great experiences uh, for me. I'm working on, you know, working, getting over my mental blocks, you know, trusting myself. What I'm going to do, an outside move, stay with it. You know, trust that I am fast enough to get my hips around and fundamentally sound. So that's the biggest thing, you know, testing it out on the elite guys. And I've been having success. So that's good. Good. Let's talk about your recruitment a little bit here. Uh, who are some of the schools that are really coming after you, you know, the hardest at this point? I like Oregon, uh, Florida, Notre Dame in the picture now. Uh, USC, Clemson's in the picture, LSU's in the picture. So a lot of people starting to jump right. on me, you know, but uh, it's good, it's, it's cool, you know. I'm, Are you enjoying the process? Yeah, yes, sir. I'm um, riding it out right now, having fun with it. You mentioned Notre Dame. I know you were on campus within the last two weeks. Yes, sir. Um, talk about your first trip to South Bend, man. It was crazy. At first, I'm like, you know, it's small, but then getting to school, you know, to see the, um, the church, what is it called? The Basilica, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was, that blew my mind. I mean, I can sit there all day. And it's crazy because they don't push Catholic on you. They just push the fact that it is something higher than you. And I like that. You know, I thought it, you had to be Catholic to go there. But, I mean, going there opened up my eyes a lot. The opportunities, Notre Dame, everyone knows about Notre Dame. Okay. It's a club and a Notre Dame club in each state. So I mean, that's crazy connection-wise. You know, you'll know a lot of people. Okay. And uh, some, you just you know passed along some big news about returning for an official oh, visit. Yes, Talk about that a little bit, man. It's just exciting. You know, they're uh, building a new field. When we went out there, it was under construction. They're getting turf in there. So mm -hmm. when they play Stanford, that's going to be a big game. And then me building a relationship with their D line. Like I learned their defense in like an hour. You know, just watching, studying. So I'm actually going to be watching that team this year all around because I know those guys. You know, so I can. For him. Okay. Is sure. Alford the primary recruiter for you, or is there somebody else that's kind of? It's, it's Alford. Alford. I talk, like him. I, mean, he's I was going to say, talk about that a little he's, bit. Yeah, he's straight up. I mean, he was telling me this one story with him and uh, one defensive end. He was like, um, I know that you know in your heart where you should be, but I don't know if you're smart enough to make that decision. So, I mean, for him to say that, I mean, he's a real guy. I mean, it's the truth. I mean, when you think about committing somewhere, you should just, you know, think about, like me, I'm not thinking about football. Football to take care of itself when it's time to practice and it's time to strap up, it's going to take care, take care of itself. It's about, you know, academically. What can Notre Dame do for me from an academic standpoint? And they can do a lot for me. So, I mean, that's, that's, you know, they're in there. They're going to be, they're going to be in my top. Florida is another school that people consider, you know, yes, sir. That your favorite, you know, yes, the media talks about it. But, you know, why the Gators? What has, what is it that stands out about them to you? I, mean, I have a great relationship with Brad Law, and, and I know it's bad sometimes to build a relationship with coaches, but um, it's just he's a guy, even if he was to leave Florida, he's a guy that I would always just want to keep in my corner. And then just Florida as a program, outside of football, I mean, like I have a blueprint for every, every college. You know, we have a guy, Derek Tyson. He went to Armwood, and I thought he went to Florida, but he didn't go to Florida. But him being in the ESPN, I mean, you know, knowing people, connections, me going to Florida, like, it's just so many opportunities to meet people, and they have guys that do the uh, sport broadcast and, and all that stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's, that's why Florida, you know, caught my interest. And we're here in Oregon, and the du Ducks are one of your favorites as well, man. So, let's just talk about them a little bit and why they're so high on your list. That Nike platform, you know, I want to see how big it is. And I know it's big, but I really want to, you know, meet people within Nike, you know, all that stuff, see, you know, what all I could do as far as from a Nike standpoint. You know, if I went to Oregon, I could come here and maybe do some internship. I mean, I don't know. I just want experience. That's the biggest thing. And lastly, uh, decision date, any idea when? It'll be like December, you know, December signing day. So, yeah, we're on that time. Okay. Any? And now you said Notre Dame Stanford for the official visit. Do you have any others locked in at this point? I know probably Oregon. I think they, they play USC this year. Um, I'm pretty sure they play them. I just don't know where it's at. Yeah, I mean, if they play USC or Washington, like one of their big games, okay. that's the biggest thing. So like, Oregon. Oregon get an official from me. Um, Notre Dame will get one. And then, like, me, CC, George, we all want to take the same officials. So we're trying to still plan and see, like, where we want to go. Perfect. All right, again, this is Tom Lloyd with five-star defensive end Byron Carroll. Thanks, Byron. Yes, sir.